We're still in the pummel, uh, our hands are open. We're, we're pummeling to get the elbow pass. I'm gonna show the elbow pass without pummeling, and then I'm gonna show it with pummeling. And the pummel sets it up because it, it makes it really easy to get the elbow pass. So uh, we'll focus on just getting to a double leg, but you can, uh, most of the time I end up on a high crotch. And the reason why I end up on a high crotch is maybe the, the, the leg, the, the, the far leg is too far to get, but we'll, we'll go over the basic position. So I'm here. And as I mentioned earlier, a lot of American guys prefer to be here because they'll use this to get to the, um, to the, to the legs or they'll use this to just to break up, break that rhythm and, and reset in the center. So when I'm here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come, I'm going to shove this elbow into the Nolan side, into his side here. And look, I small step outside and tighten that gap to here. There's my double. And for the finish, you're going to cut the corner here, here, and finish right there. The, the thing is, when you're just locked up here, and the second the guy feels this, he knows you're going to try that. So he's going to be really strong. But this is where the setup comes in. This is where the pummeling comes in. It's so important. I, we go back to that same idea. We're pummeling one way. I get to here. I pull him again. I lift the pummel here. Look, watch what he just did. He gave me the double leg. Instead of, if I have to, I'll push it down. But because he's pummeling in, he's doing this for me for a quick second. That's why if I'm control of the pummel, he doesn't get to shoot on me. I get to shoot on him. But for some reason, if it's that 50-50 pummel, Whoever goes first gets it, basically. So I'm, I'm moving him. I'm forcing him to move, and then I'm pummeling. I'm forcing him to move, and then I'm pummeling. Look, thanks for the double. He gave me the double. So double, but to be honest with you, I would more, more than likely go to high crotch most of the time, because if my opponent has a good hips, and I get here, his leg is so far, and, and then they'll start to pick this arm up, or they'll sprawl on me. I think this works a lot better. And as far as finishing the high crotch, we did a whole series on this, so you guys can check that out. I don't want to have to go through all the, the finishes. There's the, the running the pipe, the lifts, the double, things like that. But that's mostly I want to talk about that set of how they give you that. You don't have to force it. If you know, if you go here and you do this and you, you notice he's not really resisting, great. Step outside, double. But if you do this and he is resisting, that pummel is going to make a huge difference. So I go one way, I pummel, I go the other way, I pummel, thank you. That's my double. You see how I step around? That gives me the, I cut the corner, that allows me to drive that way at an angle and he can't sprawl on me.